Hey there, good morning. I'm Laura and I work for the Yuma County Library District. And today I will show you how to give Centangle hair to your favorite character. I'll be using Taiga from Toradora, and the result is going to be an amazing, fun, and surrealist collage. Centangle was trademarked by Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas. They call it the Centangle method. They even have their own website, and you can become a certified teacher. Centangle is a way to create images by using structured patterns and they are made by using a combination of dots, lines, and curves. It's originally done in squares or tiles, but today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Rick and Maria see this as a form of meditation. They call it artistic meditation. And once you get started doing your character and tangling, you will know what we're talking about. The materials you'll be needing for this project are scissors, or a precision cutting knife, glue, glue stick or tape, pen, pencil, or a permanent marker. To add color to your project, you can use color pencils, markers, or crayons. You will also need cardstock or construction paper, plain white paper, and of course, a picture of the character that you will be giving a new hairstyle. Our first step will be to cut out the outline of our character. Once you're done cutting that line, you will end up with something like this. Just your character. Now, you're ready to start cutting out your character's hair. Had already cut a little piece here. You can use your scissors to cut out the rest of the hair. And you can continue using the scissors for the details, but I prefer to use my precision knife like this. After you get rid of all the unwanted hair, you will end up with something like this. Now you're ready to put your character in regular white paper. You, will, you can use tape or you can use glue to paste your character to the white paper. Now you're ready to trace the silhouette of what their hair will be. you'll end up with something like this. After this, you're ready to move on to making divisions in the hair. You'll end up with something like this. This is where the individual patterns or designs will go. Once you have a silhouette, you can start making divisions of your hair. This is where the individual patterns, designs will go, or your tangles. Now, we're ready to start tangling. I will start with simple, big circles here. You can get as creative as you want with the patterns. You will do a different pattern for each section. And you will end up with something like this. Now, at this point, you can leave your project in black and white. Or you can add color to it. Once you add color to all of your sections, you will have something like this. Now, you're ready to cut out the silhouette of your character again. Now, using here, like this. And you can paste it into a in background like this. Or you can choose to do it with a design in the background. And it will look something like this. You have created your tangle. 
Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If you try this at home, please comment with a picture below or tag us on a Facebook post, Instagram post, or upload it to our teen blog. And also don't forget to check out our online resources or catalog to see what other materials we have available. If you need ideas for inspiration, you can check out our Centangle books available on Hoopla or visit the Centangle website. Thank you.